Are you wondering if it's safe or illegal to drive on the road with a cracked windshield? We'll go over the general motor vehicle laws in North America and I'll share my personal story with a five-year-old cracked windshield. Plus, find out where to get quality windshields for cheap. Coming up. Automotive for beginners. Here's the good news. Having a cracked or damaged windshield will not automatically result in being fined while driving on the road. It all depends on where the damage is located and how bad it is with your windshield. With most minor damages, you can drive freely without being issued a ticket. Generally, across North America, driving a cracked windshield that obstructs the driver's view is the major reason why anyone would get a ticket. But any other place than that is usually okay, such as a crack below the driver's view or on the passenger side. But there are some exceptions from province to province and state to state. So be sure to check your local motor vehicle laws regarding cracked windshields. For example, in Alberta, Canada, police may issue an order to repair your windshield or hand out fines. If the windshield damage is 12 millimeters or greater in diameter, this can cause you to receive a fine, which can reach up to $500. In a state such as Arizona, you could receive a fine for any cracks that intersect or if you have any damage bigger than 3 quarters of an inch in diameter. Again, each province and state will differ to the laws regarding damaged windshields. So now that we've covered the legal aspect of driving with a cracked windshield, the question arises, is it safe to drive with a cracked windshield? Legally, I'm supposed to say it's not safe. My thoughts are it may not be as safe as a brand new windshield. But a cracked windshield can last you years if the damage isn't too severe. However, you should get your windshield repaired as soon as you develop rock chips, cracks, or spider webs. It's always better to keep your safety a priority when it comes to driving on the road. Here you can see on the Kia Sorento that I drive, it's got about six crack lines. And several rock chips well past 12 millimeters in diameter. There are about three different intersections with the crack lines. I check all the boxes for having a faulty window if I were to live in Arizona. However, since I'm here in Alberta, Canada, I've yet to receive a fine. The condition of this windshield has progressively got worse since 2016. That's right, for five years I've been driving this vehicle without replacing the windshield. I've never had an accident due to the damaged windshield and never got a fine because of it. But this is probably one of the extreme examples of getting away with a damaged windshield. Still, I recommend myself and to others to repair or replace a damaged windshield as soon as possible, which I have now done. You can check out the link below on how to do rock chip repairs, but if you got a seriously damaged windshield like mine, you can always find ways to get quality windshields for cheap. Instead of going to the dealer or a mechanic to get your windshield replaced next time, Consider going to an auto glass specialist in your local area. You can skip the mechanics who will charge you extra for the same glass that you get from the exact same specialist. The auto glass specialist will provide you with aftermarket windshields that are just as good as OEM for a fraction of the cost. And since OEM windshields can range up to $1,000 and up, Going this route can save you about 75% on cost. I'll also link another video below where I show you actual costs when dealing directly with auto glass specialists. In short, it's generally illegal and isn't safe to drive with a badly cracked windshield. 
but with minor damage you'll likely be okay until you can get a repair sorted out. So now you know what to do when your windshield starts to crack and damage. If you enjoyed the video, make sure to subscribe and hit the like button.